If you're looking for the cheapest muck coins on the market and you need it delivered to you with the quickness, check out MMOAN.com. Use code CK for 10% off. Welcome back, you guys. Your boy is CK. It's episode number six of our Steelers franchise series. First things first, I learned how to pronounce this man's name. It's not like Ted Ginn Jr. It's more like Gin and Juice. Zach Gentry. There we go. Had to get that right because he's gonna be in our rotation a lot more than usual, man. He might be playing fullback because we recently got rid of Roosevelt Nix. If you forgot from last episode, we traded him and we have no fullbacks left. We also traded, I think, Eli Rogers. So we're down to six wide receivers. Pretty much five that get some sort of tick. And uh, yeah, AJ Green is one of them, but he does not want to come back. I offered him so much money in the last episode and he just declined. So I don't know if he's going to walk after the season. We might have to go ahead and scout some other wide receivers, some high overall wide receivers in the draft. Look at this. Not interested. I don't get it. Now, I asked you guys about Shazier, but it was mixed feedback. Some people were saying, oh, keep Shazier, put respect on his name. Others were saying, let him walk. But the majority wanted me to bring him back. And I know he's out for 21 weeks now, but I realized that the weeks count in the offseason. So if we have him back for the start of next season, I think that'll be worth it. He is still an absolute beast. I'm going to go ahead and give him a little bit more than what they're telling me to give him. 34.3 over four years. He's very young. He's still very good when healthy. Let's offer him. Oh, I don't have the salary cap room. Didn't even realize that. 643,000 remaining after I offer him, bro. I don't know. I don't know if I can even offer him, bro. L look at this. Maybe if I make it three years, it makes it less room. Okay, I'm going to have to go down a little bit. 2.5. Two point, uh, yeah, 2.5. So we still have about a million left in cap room. Let's see. All right, I, I just sent him to offer. I really like the duration, but I like to make money during that time. Wow. So he doesn't think it's enough. That's crazy. I thought it was good. I thought it was a good offer. And right now, I don't know if he wants to come back. We're going to have to go ahead and see. We got ourselves a divisional game versus the Ravens, the one and three Baltimore Ravens. We're coming off of an L in a divisional matchup versus the Bengals, man. Right now, let's go ahead and see what players we can scout. Uh, you guys told me to scout wide receivers, like I said earlier, man. So Jerry Judy, I already know about him. I'm not even like the biggest college football fan. I know how amazing he is. Dude's so elusive. A minus deep threat, A minus catching, and A minus medium route running. I'm sure there's a bunch of other A minus stats he has. Uh, probably elusiveness, probably deep route running. Dude's an animal. There's a reason why he's projected to go top seven, six one, one ninety two. Absolute beast. He, he, we're gonna keep our eye on him. You feel me? Because AJ Green might leave. Not much has changed. Remember, James Conner was injured in the last episode. I don't know how fickle his injury is. To be honest with you, man, I, I know it, it could just reoccur at the snap of a finger. So I'm a little bit nervous about that. However, Benny Snell Jr. did not do half bad. He was much better than I expected. As a rookie, he was killing it out there, catching touchdown passes, uh, fighting for yards after he was touched. Man, I, I really liked the way he was playing. So honestly, even if James Conner gets injured, we have a viable backup. And of course, Trey Edmonds as our halfback number three. If we have to, we'll move Samuels back to running back, give him and Snell Jr. all the touches. But right now, James Conner seems to be healthy. AJ Green, well, he's on the team for now. Juju was not happy after last game. The plan is to get him involved and get him a lot of touches. Him and James Conner, I need their morale to skyrocket. Now, a lot of you guys have been telling me to trade for Geno Atkins. The reason why I don't know if we could do that is because you just saw the cap hit on Shazier. I don't even think we have enough cap room to take him on at this point in time. So I don't think that would be the smartest idea, man. I, I think we just wait. All right, first key moment of the video, we are on the defensive end of the field. Obviously they have Lamar Jackson and he has that freaking escape artist. I'm sure that's probably how they're moving the ball. That in the running game. Gotta watch Marquise Hollywood Brown too. Okay, it's gonna be a run. It's gonna be a nice tackle right there from Devin Bush. I don't know if you watched week one in the NFL, but the Ravens have a stacked offense. Like they're no joke this year. Obviously their defense is already really good. Come on, I can't get off the block. What is going on? Who was that lineman? What the hell, bro? I didn't know their O-line was this filthy as well, man. Every single part of their team, it looks like. Okay, the run. Come on, yes, sir. Stephon to it, what a tackle. So far, we have not been able to get on the field on offense, which is unfortunate. Hopefully we can do our thing and get a stop right here on third down big play big play big user look at my man Edmonds he's gonna take it to the crib he has too much speed defense wins games people we got the lead thank you Lamar for throwing it right to my user I appreciate it man another third down another opportunity look at how are they moving the ball this fast down the field defense not getting it done that's why I'm playing key moments I don't want to be the reason why we win they have to earn their W's they have to earn their W's look at the sack from Hargrave okay they ended up getting three 
They have the ball once again. Have we even seen the ball on offense? Like, what? This is just three and out, three and out? Like, Jesus Christ, two minute warning. I know I said I don't wanna be the reason we win. I don't wanna be the entire reason. Like, they have to earn at least half of it. And then I just play the key moments and help them out, you know, sporadically. Here we go, big third and two. Throw it to my user again. Ah, that was a nice dot. I see you, Lamar. 253 yards of offense in just one half. You're on pace for over 500, bro. What is going on with my defense? It's falling apart. I might have to trade for Geno. Look at the escape artist. Come on, bro. I knew it was going to be really tough to stop him. And that was just, that was a great tackle right there. Look, escape artist again. We have a spy up. It doesn't matter. He slid down to the one. That was a great job. Devin Bush, our fastest defender, or one of our fastest defenders. That's not a cornerback. You're on the spy. You're on spy alert. And that's a nice touchdown. Lamar is killing us. Come on. Offense, get something going. Thank you. Seven seconds left. At the 45. Hello? Like, why wouldn't they use a timeout, bro? What? The logic in this game, I don't get it. I really just, I, I don't get it sometimes. Here we go, third and six. I guess I'll put AJ on an out route. Doesn't really matter, right? Like we have five seconds, maybe Juju to the sidelines. I really don't know, I, I'm going to Juju. Come on, possession that, nice catch. Okay, Juju. Let's make this a three point game. Three point game, heading to half number two. I'm doing well. All right, second half has begun. Looks like it's just three and out after three and out. Now, my job to make sure this one's not a three and out. Third and four, we're crossing midfield, at least getting field goal range, that's the goal. I can't go ahead and audible. I would love to, but this is what coach drew up. Here we go. Circle, wide open. Look at Gentry, the man of the hour with the first down. Big Ben's halfway to a super side X Factor ability. We got Gentry in motion. Let me block a press on the left side. Come on, Connor. Bottom blocks, baby. Bottom blocks, let's go. Connor has so much speed, deceptively quick. We're down inside the five. I'm tempted to just give Connor this touchdown. Hey, if he earns it, he's gonna get it. If he earns it, he's gonna get it. We have the lead now. All right, 17-13, can we keep it? We're in the fourth quarter, and the defense needs my help. Pinch dog three. Look at the, holy crap. The Ravens offense has been moving up and down the field. We're gonna have to do something on defense. We're gonna have to do something, or maybe just chalk it up to the Ravens offense being that good. The run game being that good. Look at Mark Ingram. However, we've been able to bend but do not break in large part due to me, <laughs> to be honest with you. Or maybe the Ravens just have a tough time punching the ball in the end zone. You know, their offense is really good, but their points per game was kind of low. Like they had top five offense and top five defense, but their points per game was like top 20, if that. You know, it was only 22 a game. So they have trouble punching the ball into the end zone. Let's see if they can do it right here. Oh, nice swat by Devin Bush. These are the plays that coach gives me. I, I'm not a fan of them. I'll be honest with you. I wish we could come out like cover to invert. But Perry's going to be the spy. And uh, we're shading inside. Oh, it's a screen. It's a screen incomplete pass. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Perry at the linebacker position or the DN position, whatever he's playing. He's going to be the spy. And that's going to be a complete pass that we missed. The tackle. How did that even happen? Come on, man. Now we don't have the lead. This is fourth quarter. They have the ball. Okay, three and outs. Back and forth. Ginormous play. Less than three minutes left in the game. First and ten. And they call upon me again. Look at this. They're already in field goal range. User Malik Hooker. It has to be a run, right? All I did in practice was stop the run. Back to back weeks that that has happened because the teams that we're playing against love running the football. They're going to have to hike this ball. They're going to have to hike this ball. Let's go. Push them back even further. Hopefully you can get a sack or something like that, man. Push him out of field goal range. Keep this a three-point game. That'll be amazing. We need one of our amazing defensive linemen to get to the quarterback. I'm looking at you, Stefan Tewitt. I'm looking at you, Cameron Hayward. TJ Watt. Come on, Javon Hargrave. Nice block shed. Is there any reason why I should not bring both safeties up? I understand they have Hollywood Brown, but with only 30 yards, I don't think he can beat us over the top, man. Come on, we can't be missing tackles. We cannot be missing tackles. Clock keeps moving. They move the chains, and they're still going to end up with at least three on this drive, man. We're going to end up down six, at least, with no timeouts. Not a good look. Okay, they're passing. Why is he passing? He's going to run. He's going to run. Oh, give me the fumble next time. Lamar with that escape artist. I should have just been putting Devin Bush on the spot every single play. He's like the only one that can really keep up with him. Okay, another run. Nice job. Nice tackle. Branch with the tackle right there. I don't even think he's a starter. Stepping in, making some nice plays. It's a big third and 13, though. Saving one timeout. Hoping they pass the ball so I don't even have to use it. Okay, it's a run. Come on. Nice tackle right there, Hayward. We have one timeout and about 20 seconds left when we get the ball back. Oh, now you want me to play offense. Now, this is when you want me to play offense. And look at the plays you give me. What is this, bro? One timeout, 20 seconds left. I guess we'll put Connor on the deep. Yeah, why not? Let's put Connor deep. And just hope for the best. Come on, somebody get open, please. All right, there we go. Let's go, baby. That's a dot. That's a dot right there. Eight seconds left. Obviously, I want a touchdown, man. That's what we need to do to get a W. 
Here we go. All right, well, AJ, go out of bounds, please. Go out of bounds. No, we couldn't make it. And that's our second loss of the season. No words at all, man. Lamar did his thing 23 to 31. Threw that one interception to me at pick six. But besides that, he, he was flawless. Look at this big Ben, an interception. He needs to bounce back. 19 to 25, 247. He's just not doing what I need him to do. 38 for 162. They gashed us on the ground. Our run defense needs some work, man. Connor did his thing. 13 for 48 in the touchdown. Mark Andrews, uh, they're, even their passing attack was better than ours. How's that even possible? 4 for 48 for Juju. 452 for James Washington. I felt like I was never on the field. 3 for 71 for AJ Green. I mean, at least he got some yards, but this is just embarrassing. Terrell Edmonds. A safety should not be leading your team attacking. That just means that the linebackers, the D-line, were not doing their job. We're not getting off blocks fast enough. Uh, Devin Bush had a sack. He had a, a decent game. Javon Hargrave definitely had a decent game as well. Three tackles for a loss. TJ had a sack. Brandon Carr had the interception for the Ravens, man. We just, we're not looking too good right now. We're still above 500. That's the saving grace, but two straight L's, I believe. All right, thank God. We have upgrades on the defense because, let's be honest, we needed them. Run stopper upgrade. He's already a good run stopper. We need him to be even better. We need him to be even better. Plus two block chain, plus one play wreck, and plus one tackling for Javon Hargrave. Our star defensive tackle, Devin Bush. Let's go. I hope he becomes a 75 after this. Run stopper upgrade. He's incredible at everything else. I need him to be an amazing run stopper. He's now 75 overall, plus one awareness, plus one play wreck, and plus two tackling. View message, frustrated running back. You had a touchdown. I don't understand. Look at this. Coach, this one's on me. You built a game plan around me. You gave me an opportunity to move the ball, and I couldn't do it. Yes, at least you know. <laughs> at least you understand. That's a mature individual right there, man. He came to the coach, and he said, I messed up, not you. We have some more upgrades to make. Uh, Terrell Edmonds is the one upgrade. We, we need him to be amazing in run support, and right now, I don't think he is. So 76 overall after we upgraded his run support, plus one awareness, plus one play right, plus two tackling and plus one to zone. You can see the problem right here. When you look at the lineup screen, 84 overall, 91 offense, but only an 81 defense. Yet we still have so many studs on defense. I don't understand the problem. I'm looking at it. I'm just staring at it, trying to figure out. It's probably this, probably Mark Barron, probably Devin Bush. You know, he's going to get there right now. He's not there yet. And Nick Perry, who's who's doing a solid job. Millie Cooker doing a great job. Edmonds, I need you to be better. Steven Nelson, our number two cornerback. I don't know if he's getting the job done, Chief. I don't, I, it's not the pass defense, so that's the problem. Like, it's the rush defense. Our D-line is still filthy. Our scheme is a base 3-4. Maybe we have to change that. Maybe we have to change the scheme because right now we cannot stop the run. We're doing a great job in terms of stopping the, the pass, but you know, when people try to run against us, there's nothing we can do. Is it finally time to try the 4-6? I don't know. You guys let me know if we have to make that switch, man. It's a 91% scheme fit. We will have eight players in the box. That would fix our run defense problem. I think that might be the move, but um, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. Right now, that's what it's gonna be. If someone says, no, don't do that, 4-6 is horrible in this game, then yeah, I'll go ahead and switch it. It's not looking too good, man. Keep an eye on Hargrave, the defensive lineman. I know he lost last week, but he played an incredible game. Yes, I know, I know he did, okay. That's for next week. Hold the charges to less than 75 rushing yards and one rushing touchdown, or get him two interceptions. How D-Tag will get two interceptions? Force fumbles, tackles for loss. Damn, they're asking a lot from a D tag. That is ridiculous. Weekly awards. Let's go ahead and check that out, man. Edmonds, holy crap. Every week, they're giving us an award for the defense in the AMC, man. Look at that. One interception, one touchdown. The pick six was amazing. So, yeah, I guess I understand. Mixing on offense. Holy crap. That is a filthy stat line. Trubisky in the NFC and Collins. Is that five weeks in a row where a Steelers player has been awarded for something, even though we lost two of those games? I don't get it, man. Okay, Shazier. He's ready to negotiate again. He's ready to negotiate again. The contract length is good. I want to keep our cap room to over about two. Over about two million. I enjoyed playing for you, but I'm going to test out free agency. I gave him a lot. I offered him so much, and he just doesn't want to come back. Artie Burns, not really feeling him. I I'm pretty sure we have Justin Lane as our young cornerback. We still have Mike Killen. We, we still have Steven Nelson. We still have Joe Hayden, who we re-signed. You know what I'm saying? So I'm good. I'm good on uh, Artie Burns. No way he wants to come back after that. If he does, he's desperate. This is a decent offer. I just need a better salary. Okay, well, he didn't outright say it was terrible. So he's actually considering it. That's a little bit surprising. Okay, we have a lot of scouting points available. This is how we're going to end the video. We're gonna just going to scout a lot of a lot of players. Why not just scout Tua? I, uh, ben hasn't been amazing. He has not been amazing, man. He hasn't thrown touchdowns in like back-to-back -back games. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. A-plus throw power. A-minus throw actually made it. A minus throw actually deep. Not to, you know, scare you guys. Because Mason Rudolph, 
he's probably going to start next year if we end up moving on from Ben. I like Mason Rudolph. We played with him in the preseason. He was incredible for me. So that's who I'm. That's who I'm looking for after Big Ben. If there's an after Big Ben, you never know. He could bounce back in the second half of the season and start playing incredibly well. You never know. Andrew Thomas, A minus run block power, A minus impact block, A minus run block finesse. We need young guys on the offensive line. That's why I'm scouting all these tackles. Trey Smith from Tennessee's agile left tackle. That'll be a huge upgrade for Villanueva. Ramon Foster, that left side of our line. It's getting kind of up there in age. A minus run block finesse, A minus run block, and B plus pass block finesse, man. I'm loving this. Scouting players is just really fun. We don't need a right end or a left end. Cameron Hayward, Stefan Toit, they're locked in, locked and loaded, baby. Okay, Dylan Moses, maybe, why not? Why not? Hey, maybe him and Devin Bush at the same time at MLB. Young guys, fast guys in the middle. That'd be nice. A hit power, A tackle, A pursuit for the guy from Alabama. CJ Henderson, we do need a cornerback. Why not keep on scouting guys in the secondary to our defense as a whole? We're only in 81. Remember that B plus man coverage, B plus press and B zone coverage Pro project to go early first round. Do we have enough for one more scout? I think we might CD lamb from Oklahoma. Why not? We scouted Jerry Judy just in case he goes early. Let's go ahead and scout CD lamb. He's a deep threat. A spec catch a minus deep route and a minus medium route, man. Okay. I think that's it. I think that's all we can go ahead and scout for this video. I wanted to play another one. You guys did not reach 1,000 likes, so I only have to do one game for today's video, man. If you want to see two games in the next one, hit that like button. 1,000 likes, I will make it happen, man. We're going to be playing against the Chargers. It's going to be a tough one, but yeah, I think that's all I have for you right now. If we struggle again on the ground versus the Chargers, I might have to make a trade. I might have to go ahead and get Geno, solidify that interior defensive line, maybe switch up the scheme once again to 4-3. Uh, maybe that'll help us stop the run, but that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. And as for me...